Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. I do thank and praise God for allowing us to gather today in this forum called Wisdom and Wonder in God's Word. Wisdom and Wonder in God's Word. Hallelujah. Thank God for this first day of February in the year of our Lord 2023. Amen. And brothers and sisters, are we yet alive to see one another's faces? Glory to God. I thank God so much for just allowing us to gather today as we enter into this time of fellowship and as we enter into this time in his presence together. May we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are so grateful for this day, God. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your tender mercies. Thank you, God, for how you continue to look out for us, Lord. So much so, Lord, at those times and in those situations where we know we don't deserve it, God. You bless us uh, with, without us having any merit. You give us your grace. And then you protect us without uh, any any real warrant. You grant us your mercy and and you divert and hold back the, the, the plans of the enemy that would otherwise overtake us. We're so grateful to you, Lord. As we live and as we look back, uh, we appreciate you more and more every day, Lord. As we look at where we are and as we just think about days ahead, uh, our days are in your hands, Lord. So we know not how far in number those days will go. But our peace is in knowing that our lives are in your hands. Oh, Lord, thank you for this forum. Thank you for allowing us to just be together today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray, Lord, that you have your way. Lord, that you saturate the airwaves right now, God, as this teaching goes forth, Lord, for all of us, God, that hearts are uh, encouraged, that spirits are lifted, God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, that our souls are caused to rejoice in your word today, in your word, and in your word alone. We thank you and we praise you for making it all possible, Lord. It is not because of any one of us. It's not because we're that smart or we have any kind of ingenuity. Lord, we are we are simply vessels in your hands, Lord. Uh, we thank you for everybody who will gather in this forum, Lord. And perhaps some will gather not even knowing why they are gathering. But Lord, speak to hearts and speak to minds today. Minister as only you can through the truth of your word. In Jesus' strong name I pray and I believe. Amen. And bless the Lord. Amen. Well, I do thank the Lord for this day. Thank God for everybody who's joining us. Encourage us to share, um, uh, to get others uh, involved in this uh, process. Amen. I know maybe just a few minutes you know, uh, we can use as a lunch break or some other kind of break. Amen. But I thank God for all who are just blessed to be here. Amen. Um, I thank God for this new month. Uh, according to the calendar we use, it's the second month of a new calendar year. Uh, my God, my God, that's a praise all by itself. That's a shout all by itself. Uh, the the weights and the worries of the of the past year and even of the past month have been enough to consume us. But thanks be unto God, He is that wind beneath our wings. We we don't keep ourselves afloat because we are so strong or so wise. Uh, but through the grace and the mercy of the Lord, we are allowed to still be here. And we're so grateful for it. And we want the Lord to know that we truly do appreciate his loving kindness toward each and every one of us. Glory to God. We are in, we are, our, our, our scriptural foundation for today's teaching is Psalm 139. Psalm 139. Psalm 139. And, uh, we're gathering under this little subject or theme today. Spiritual comfort food. Spiritual comfort food. Amen. Spiritual comfort food. Spiritual comfort food. 
um, and our scriptural foundation is Psalm 139. Amen. Hope everybody has that spiritual comfort food. Amen. Psalm 139. Amen. Well, I, I'm not the expert on defining this, but I will give you this homemade definition just for the sake of getting uh, the ball rolling. Amen. Comfort food really can be anything uh, that uh, one chooses to eat because it brings uh, it ushers in a state of uh, gladness, a state of fulfillment, uh, uh, even a state of euphoria. Amen. Uh, comfort foods are those things that um, that that minister to us. Amen. Uh, even in a secular sense. Uh, though those of us who are spiritual, who are Christian, know that everything is Christian. There's no such thing as separating it. Um, what we call secular life is just part of our Christian life. Amen. But um, comfort food, then are those things that uh, speak to our minds and, and um, increase our peace and um, our sense of well-being, amen, comfort foods, uh, uh, cause us sometimes to just forget uh, the immediate circumstances and just get lost in the comfort food. Um, sometimes comfort food uh, uh, takes us on flashbacks of, of wonderful memories uh, from childhood or early adulthood uh, when we enjoyed a certain thing with certain people or in a certain setting amen um, uh, sometimes uh, in the course of a year we would have certain meals that were just big meals Thanksgiving meals were big meals Christmas meals were usually big meals even New Year's Day meals were big meals along with all through the year but um, Usually of all the things <coughs> that were uh, fixed for, the, for any of those meals, there was a particular dish that kind of spoke to us more than any, anything else. If it was a certain person's mac and cheese or a certain person's uh, dressing or whatever it was, a certain person's greens or whatever it was, it was just something. We ate the other stuff out of courtesy, but we ate the comfort food. Uh, to be purely selfish because that thing ministered to us it made us feel good just where we were it didn't excuse us from harsh realities but for that moment in that situation that comfort food offered a respite offered a turn aside offered a, a, a time to catch our breath and to just enjoy um, that particular item and if, if, if it's a popsicle, then it's a popsicle. If it's a, if it's a, a, a burger, then it's a bur burger. If it's a, um, whatever it is, if, if it's a certain kind of candy, that's what it is. If a certain kind of fruit or veggie, that's what it is. Whatever it is, that comfort food ministered to our being and really brought some sense of peace, some sense of well-being, some sh sense of shalom to our being. Amen. And uh, so it is uh, with our knowledge of God. And as I was led to this passage of Scripture, Psalm 139, uh, 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 and, and as I read through it, I really had come up with another theme, another subject. But the Lord said, no, nah, that's not it. That's not it. Um, uh, in this psalm, in this passage, I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving some comfort food in this passage I'm, I'm 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 feeding my people something that will cause them to to know my peace and 
cause them to know my sufficiency and cause them to know my omnipresence and cause them to know my omniscience and cause them to know my um, my omnipotence in this passage i'm i'm reminding them not of their uh, flawed uh, reality but i'm reminding them of my flawless reality yeah and so through the through my word i am ministering to their souls and to their spirits with comfort food i'm ministering to their souls and their spirits with realities that will just for this moment will cause them to get built up so that whatever else they they they're dealing with or where wherever uh life has them at the moment glory to god hasi glory to god they'll realize uh, 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 that I've provided some comfort food for their souls and for their spirits. Glory to God. And if it ministers to our souls and to our spirits, brothers and sisters, it'll make your body feel a little bit better too. Amen. Amen. And I don't need to ask for witnesses. I know there are witnesses out there. Amen. When, when you can get in that zone, that man, nothing else matters right now zone. Amen. Your body will even get to feeling better and, and th pains and discomforts uh, that you may have been experiencing, at least for that time that you're enjoying that comfort food. They're not so prominent. They're not so dominant. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So he gives us comfort food. Uh, well, I'm going to talk about the nature of the comfort food, and then we'll, we'll, we'll actually read through Psalm 139. Uh, just what is included? What has uh, God Almighty? What has Almighty God? Amen. What has El Shaddai uh, put in this comfort food uh, that he intends uh, to have minister to me and you as we go through life? As we go through situations, as we go through the vicissitudes, the ups and downs, the hots and colds, the ins, the outs, whatever it is, what is it? Well, uh, well, he, the comfort food includes these these um, these emphases. Uh, God is all seeing. That oh man, that's good to know right there. Amen. Uh, glory to God. And that all seeing means some. He will even see the things I wish he didn't see. But I need to find comfort in knowing that God is all seeing. As, as he sees the things I wish he didn't see, he also sees all those things I wish he did, he did see. He sees God as all seeing. Nothing escapes him. He misses nothing. He is all seeing. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. We part of a hymn. We we don't sing much now, but the 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 chorus says, "Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide until the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. So he is all seeing. Not only does he see everything, but another aspect of this comfort food is we chow down on it and, and get lost in it and, and, and all of that is, is that El Shaddai is all-knowing. He knows, he knows, he knows. He knows the bitter, the sweet, the preferred, the unpreferred. He sees and he knows. That's comfort food. Don't you feel burdens kind of lifting off you? Uh, the, that performance mentality, like I got to do something, I got to show something, I got to make something happen. Don't you feel when you when we realize when we eat this comfort spirit, the spiritual comfort food that tells us God is all seeing and that God is all knowing and that God is all holy. Glory to God. He's all seeing. He's all knowing. He's all holy. We will find no foulness. So when there's foulness in me, in my mind, in my thought, anywhere, it's not God. It's just not God. So he's all seeing, he's all knowing, he's all holy, he's present everywhere. That's what this, this comfort food is saying. Sometimes, you know, we get into situations and, and we may not say it out loud, but we kind of think, God, where are you? Where, where, 
We don't, we don't say it quite like that. We say something more like, where you at, God? Where are you? You don't see where I am? You don't see what I'm going through? You ain't hear what they said? You don't see how they treat me? Where are you? <laughs> Hallelujah. But this word, this spiritual comfort food, Hallelujah. Somebody say spiritual comfort food. Amen. God loved me so much he gave me some spiritual comfort food. He knew I'd be where I am right now. I need some spiritual comfort food. He knew I'd be lonely. He knew I'd be kind of depressed. He knew I'd be frustrated. He knew I'd be dealing with anger. He knew I'd be having relationship problems. He knew I'd be having financial problems. He knew I'd be at a so-called bad place right now. So what did he do? He gave me some comfort food. My God, my God. That means God looked down e eons. He looked down thousands of years and saw today exactly where I'd be. And he sent some food from way back then for right here and right now. He gives us comfort food. He gives us comfort food. Glory to God. Comfort food. He is all seeing. El Shaddai is all knowing. He is all holy. He is all present. He knows us. Hallelujah. Now what a blessing this is after we realize, man, I don't need to put on a certain front. I don't need to try to sound churchy or sound like, oh man, I'm talking to God now. Let me get my God language on. No, no, he knows us. He knows our speech patterns. He knows everything. He knows our thought patterns. He knows us. Now, once we get beyond feeling self-conscious, we can enjoy his comfort in that. Because generally, most of us don't want anybody to know us but so well. Yeah, okay, it, that's enough. You know enough, we're close enough. Back off now, that's, that's enough. But God knows us. He knows us. Hallelujah. He knows us. Comfort food. El Shaddai is all seeing. He's all knowing. He's all holy. He's all present everywhere. And he knows us. Beyond that, he is with us. Hallelujah. So when I'm in the dumps, he's right there. When I'm sitting in the waiting room outside the surgery in the surgery center, he's right there. When I'm waiting on a mental health appointment, he's right there. When I'm trying to work a financial situation out and I'm not sure whether I'm going to get what I need to take care of business, he's right there. When I'm standing by the bed of a loved one and they're just about to cross on over, he's right there. When I'm sitting in the funeral home making plans for the life celebration of a loved one, he's right there. When I'm misunderstood, he's right there. When evil is speak, spoken of good that you try to do, he's right there. When people take your kindness for weakness, he's right there. people use you when they need something and then throw you aside when they get what they want he's right there when I'm in anger or disgust or despair I step into my flesh and think what I shouldn't think and say what I shouldn't say and even do what I shouldn't do and have to repent with a contrite spirit he's right there hallelujah this word can bless you if you let it, let it bless you this word can bless you. When I when I feel like a stranger in the midst of a big crowd, because I don't go with the flow, he's right there. He is right there. This is spiritual comfort food. Anybody hear me? This is spiritual comfort food. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
So he knows us. He knows us. He knows us. And then, after all of this that, that God Almighty knows, he knows, he's all seeing, he's all knowing, he's all holy, he's all present everywhere, he knows us, he is with us. And then after all of that, he grants us the privilege of knowing him through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. So not only does he know me, he allows me to know him. Not only does he see me, he allows me to see him. Not only does he hear me, he allows me to hear him. He allows bilateral exchange. He allows us to know him. Hallelujah. What a blessed peace, what a blessed comfort that is. Spiritual comfort food. It's only in knowing him that we get to know his ways. We get to know what he wants us to do. We get to identify his leadings, his unctions, his quickening, his rebuke. Hallelujah. If we don't know the rebuke of God, we may call the rebuke of God the hand of the enemy. No, no, that's just God saying, oh, let me stop you. Before you hurt yourself or hurt anybody else another time, let, let me just rebuke you. Stand still. Go somewhere and sit down. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's all in this one passage of scripture, this spiritual food. It's all in this one passage, Psalm 139. We find God knowing, God seeing all, God knowing all, God all holy, God all present, God knowing us, God being with us, and God allowing us to know him. All of that in this one passage of scripture. Need spiritual minds today. Need spiritual minds today. If we can, if we can beef up our spiritual reality and all the other matters of life that can bombard us and hit us and come after us, will will take on a, a place of lesser importance when our spiritual focus is where it ought to be. I've said much, I've said much about this word. Now, I will read this word. This is Psalm 139. If you have it and you're looking at it, maybe we read together. Hear the word of the Lord. O Lord, thou hast, hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off thou compassest my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways there's not a word in my tongue but lo O Lord thou knowest it all together thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thine hand upon me hallelujah such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is too high. I cannot attain unto it. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there shall thy hand lead me. And thy right hand shall hold me. If I say surely the darkness shall cover me. Even the night shall be light about me. Hallelujah. Yea the darkness hideth not from thee. But the night shineth as the day. Hallelujah. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. 
for thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, Asi and my and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all thy members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O oh God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wake, I'm still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O God, that hate thee? And am I, am I not grieved with the, those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Search me, hallelujah, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my way, my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And to lead me in the way everlasting. Again, the 23rd and 24th verses. Search me, O God, and know my heart. This is our spiritual comfort food. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting hallelujah 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 that's my spiritual comfort food hallelujah that's what gives me peace that's what arrests me when I want to be upset or go over the top worrying about something he gives me spiritual comfort food Hallelujah, when I'm this when there's despair, when I'm feeling desperate or hopeless or or, or wondering how, how will things work out. He gives me spiritual comfort food. He lets me know that where I am, he's there already. He was there before I got there. Hallelujah. Saints may we find comfort and peace and assurance and refuge in this spiritual comfort food straight from the word of God this too is part of wisdom and wonder in God's word glory to God I thank him for his word because his word is all right and his word is right Glory to God. Whatever circumstances you you may may not be facing a dire circumstance, but you probably know somebody who does. And you can use this word to minister spiritual comfort food to them. When they're feeling misunderstood, isolated, unloved, deserted by God, whatever they're feeling, you can use this word. Life is in the word. Use this word to speak life to people. Not I feel, not I think, not it seems to me like. No, 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 none of that matters. Speak the word. Speak spiritual comfort food from the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. I love his word. I love his word. I love his word. Hallelujah. I pray that this word finds a lodging place in our hearts. We'll be there and will minister to us till Jesus comes for us.
Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word today. Your word is rich. Your word is right all by itself. Your word is sufficient all by itself. <laughs> all by itself. Thank you for your word, God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word warring in the heavenlies for us. Thank you for your word staying the hand of the of, of our enemies. Thank you for your word turning the hands of our enemies that what they meant for destruction for us will turn on them. According to your word, your word. Spiritual comfort food. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the spiritual comfort food reminding us of our own frailty and of our need to rely on you. Be glorified. Bless every hearer. Not just because they heard, but bless every hearer to be one who expresses this truth, who shares this truth with somebody else who may not have been able to check, to uh, join us today. Thank you, Lord. The word is right. The word is wonderful. Your Lord, word is good all the time. Thank you, sir, for this great spiritual food. God, I pray your healing virtues flow uh, in uh, an intensified way upon those awaiting healing and deliverance, those receiving healing and deliverance. I pray that your word flows in an intense, more intense way, Lord, with all those who are looking to you uh, for focus for the matters of life. I pray, Lord, for those souls that seem bound for hell and don't even seem to know it or care about it. Oh God, have mercy in the name of Jesus. I pray for families, us, our families making sometimes hard decisions about what we need to do to reclaim community. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our young people, for that spirit of recklessness that seems so so plentiful Father in the name of Jesus I just pray you hear those unuttered thoughts things I can't even formulate into words I pray for our young adults those who are in child rearing age who are so busy with careers still trying to be younger than they are that they're not taking time to raise these babies Help them to know they're gonna they're gonna receive an, they're gonna have to give an account, Lord. They're gonna have to give an account. Have your way, God. We do love you today more than our next breath. We love you, and we're trusting you to take us all the way from earth to heaven. We find great comfort in your word. Save those who will repent today. Reclaim the backslider who will come back today. Strengthen the saints. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, saints. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. Thank God for his word. His word is good. His word is right all by itself. Thank God for each and every one of you. Let's pass on this good word you got another something else in your in your in your um, among your resources that you can use to minister to others spiritual comfort food hallelujah everybody will find themselves at some point in this psalm wherever we are in life thank god for each and every one of you I, I, Ask the prayers of the righteous that the Lord just keep me, strengthen me, strengthen my body, fix what needs to be fixed, heal what needs to be healed. Thank God for a mind to serve and to praise. Thank God for each and every one of you. God bless you. God keep you. I love you. As a matter of fact, I love everybody because that's what the Lord requires and expects and that's what I want to do I bless and keep you till we meet again hallelujah thank you Lord for wisdom and wonder in your word
Thank you for spiritual comfort for me. In Jesus' name.